Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well, I just told you. So now you know. <laughs> hey, what it do? I'm on my way home. Yeah, did things a little bit differently tonight. Y'all, I woke up. We rambling on the way home. Yeah, and y'all getting that night light. So I woke up this morning and I was a hater. I was. I was angry. I was angry with the world. So I couldn't get on here and talk to y'all. If I ain't in the right state of mind, I believe me, you, I'm not putting that negative energy out into the world. I'm going to keep it to myself until I get that, get right. You know how you know some people that can't get right? I'm going to wait till I get right before I get on here and talk to y'all. So I was a hater this morning because guess what? Monday is Monday. The kids are on vacation. It, it, it's Monday. Hubby don't have to go to the shop on Monday. So everybody in the MF and house got to sleep late except for Miss True. I'm a hating mofo. I was. I am. I ain't no more. I'm over it because work is going to work the ride to work the commute back home and right now is slow at work so it's really peaceful so i i know i didn't mind it much it's just that getting up part having to having to actually get up and move around and everybody around you gets to be relaxed my grandson of course is at the house you know so he got up and greeted me me which is always precious. He can put a smile on my face no matter what. Had me grinning from ear to ear. But I really wanted to come on here to give you guys, you know, some, some important information. And to make you guys be aware of your surroundings, ladies. And our men. We have to be aware at all times of our surroundings it's very important it's not a game do you guys realize how many women do your research and babies are coming up missing and found dead it so hurts hurts my heart to even fathom the thought of it happening to anybody I know or it hurts my heart when I see it happening to anybody this morning getting ready for work my husband and I we watch the news every morning you guys um and on the news young lady just celebrated her 20th birthday I forgot where she was because it just took me aback when I heard the story she's sitting in the car with the 18 year old fella I don't know if he was her boyfriend or just a friend sitting in front of his home He's um, showing, she's recording him. He's showing her a gun, wiping the gun off, showing her hollow tip bullets. And she's talking to him and he's, look it up, y'all. And he's, um, you know, talking to her about this gun while he wipe it off, get his fingerprints off of it. And he murdered her, pushed her over to the passenger's side and drove off in her vehicle with her in the passenger side thank god because god karma god don't play he got caught with her body still in the car y'all 20 years old her life was taken it hurt me so bad i have daughters i have a son i have babies her age and he took it upon himself to take away someone's daughter, someone's sister, someone's cousin, grandchild, that they have nurtured for the last 20 years in in a brief second, just because, just because he took that baby life. Y'all, it's serious out here. Our babies are being Our babies, women, are being taken and slaughtered. I posted something on my community tab that I've seen about the um, Lyft drivers and the sex trafficking. We got to be careful, y'all. Drive with your doors locked. 
don't talk to nobody when uh, when you're getting in your car don't accept anything from anybody because sometimes when they put something in your hand it's got some kind of potent something on it to knock you out and take you if you don't know them don't get to know them not at that moment if you're alone even if you're with your kids if you're not with your significant other it ain't don't don't take any risk with your life keep it pushing i know we like to be good human beings and and, and, and be nice to people but it just ain't safe it ain't safe it ain't safe so if you can avoid from l- using lyft and dare i say uber also <coughs> don't do it i have banned my girls from using it don't do it so the story um was young lady her car broke down luckily before the car broke down she was able to get her daughter to school but her car broke down and she still needed to get to work her significant other other ordered her a lift and he was gonna get her car fixed or whatever um the lift she said she noticed that he was taking all these turns and you know going in different directions that didn't have to do with her job and she started to question it and he pulled up behind a big truck a black guy drunk out opened gates to this warehouse and she jumped out the car and got away somehow y'all it's in my community tab but if you can avoid from getting in a lift or an uber y'all do it please be careful out here get you some mace on your keychain if you can avoid certain situations, avoid them. Y'all, that's all I want to get on here. Just to make you guys to, I just wanted to re-emphasize that we need to be aware of all situations. We have to be careful with our children and how they move and who they're moving around with. And our older kids, we need to educate them as to what's going on in the world when we see stuff at home we make them come and watch the news and be like look it ain't we ain't telling you no because we don't want you to go have fun we telling you no because people can't be trusted i fear every time because you know once they hit a certain age you can't tell them nothing no more I, i fear every time they step out the house like I know you grown, but can you please give me the address to where you're going, the phone number to that friend? I still do it. I don't care. I don't care. This world is not safe. Sex trafficking is real. People are taking lives for no apparent reason. Y'all be safe out here and watch y'all backs. I just want to come on here and just give that, give to wake y'all up a little bit more. Open your eyes. It's getting to be the holidays. Pay attention to your surroundings when you got those packages, when you got your kids with you. Don't send your kids to go get milk off of aisle eight and you on aisle one. No, we, we flow together. We flow together. Wherever my cart is is where you shall be. I don't need you to go get nothing for me. We can go get it together or you stay at home and I go alone. But y'all, we we have to be overprotective in this day and age. All right, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm almost to the Chris Nib. I got uh, another video to edit, but I just wanted to come on here because it was on my heart. Make sure you go, make sure you guys go over subscribe to the new channel. Yeah, um, Miss. Mrs. True Mukbang. The link will be in the description box. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for your girl. I am not a secret. Pass me around. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come by here and see me. Love, peace, and hair grease. Miss True out.